Okay, I just wanted to test out my new camera here and fire this puppy up for you once. made some tweaking on it so this will give you a pretty good idea of the power that the cart motors putting out I'm about to convert it into a box motor but I wanted to give you an idea here so give that a push and it's ripping I pull I pulled three coils It's it's ripping. I pulled three coils off of it. It's only running on nine coils now. But if I let it continue to run at this rate, it just keeps climbing and climbing. There's no load on the pulley, so it just continues to climb. Uh, it'll easily get up above a thousand RPM without a problem. The new box motor design, the wheel is considerably larger than this wheel, so the whole point is to run the system between 500 and 1000 RPM and gear it up from there. So if that gives you any idea of the power that the sequential pulse motor is generating now, uh, it is able to handle a load. I put a generator on it. It could handle the generator. Um, the changes I'm making now are using energy creators concepts to allow me to build a less drag efficient generator. Now this is one I built using his concept. Uh, it's extremely large and I was afraid that the internal workings were going to explode. So I've kind of rethought this and now I'm using an alternator uh, armature running the energy through the electromagnet to drive the pulse motor. So if you understand that, basically on the hot lead the energy is passing through the electromagnet at the core of the alternator. Now the windings are similar to energy creator, but because the armature already has the angle built into it, the, the coil has to go straight across like it does in a conventional generator. So there are a few changes, uh, but this concept will work just fine on a uh, conventional electric motor armature. So uh, what we're trying to do here should be uh, pretty easy to accomplish, but it does take time. So you can see this. It's just ripping right along. The, the way it's tweaked out now is uh, motor makes a lot of torque, builds up speed pretty quick, and putting out 20 amps into the charge batteries. So with the generator, I think we we've got it cracked, but I can't verify that yet. But keep an eye, eye out for the new systems. The box motor is in the process. I'll be posting videos uh, on and off over the next couple weeks. I'm actually building three box motors that are four foot square with a wheel that's about 30, 38 inches, I think. So, with a two inch wheel. So, it's a pretty large wheel I'm using the sequential pulse motor concept. So, 
keep your eye out for updates. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.